What's up? So in this video, I figured why not kind of share with you guys what I've learned as far as making content goes. Um, now there's a lot of creators that will create for, let's say, they're trying to get sales in for their company or, you know, you have like the content that's more geared towards an audience that are, of people that want to buy from you. And that's always great to have an audience like that. But uh, my content specifically isn't so pitchy, you know, like I don't really like sell anything on my videos. Um, it's really just for growing a personal brand, you know, putting all my nuts in one basket, all my, no, all my eggs <laughs> in one basket. So yeah. So yeah, basically when it comes to content, what I've figured just by trial and error. Like I'm, I'm a guy that's put in at least a few hours a day to making a video or two or three a day. Now, do I have the biggest following in the world? No, I mean, I have maybe 400,000 total combined around there. Um, but it's not like, you know, there's, there's creators out there that have like millions of followers, but you know, not comparing myself, just saying, I got a little credibility. Um, anyway, so what I've learned is that you want to either Educate, inspire, or entertain. And I guess going into a video, you want to figure out what's the vibe that you're going for. And can you construct it very clearly? You know, if it's just for aesthetics, um, then, you know, that's visually entertaining. If you have something that's more comedic, you know. Oh, but at the end of the day, you have to try multiple things. I can say proudly that I have tried so much stuff. So a lot of it has been hit. Some of it has been, you know, miss. Most have been missed, but you know, you get the point. So just a bunch of hours you got to put in. Obviously the quality has to be improving. As long as for the platforms, you're seen as someone who's consistent, constantly pushing out new and unique content. Definitely, you don't always have to take people's ideas. Like I know with TikTok and everything, it's a bunch of trends that you're copying and that, I mean, that works, but ultimately that's not going to define you. It's just going to help you maybe get some more views. So that's why I don't like to do purely trend based videos. And I think that's important. I feel like that whenever you can make something completely new, then it will only help your case. So besides being consistent as fuck and, um, you know, constantly playing around with new ideas, new concepts, then eventually you're in, you'll end up figuring it out and then the algorithm, algorithm will start to work in your favor. Um, figure out what you're good at and more importantly, what your audience likes too because I honestly will repeat something multiple, multiple times if it's working. Um, and I just kind of wanted to make this video to help you guys a little bit more on this like content journey because honestly, there's a lot of content creators out there that like make content on how to make content, but I don't know. I'm trying to bring it, bring you a more raw, fresh into the light, you know, just something super organic. And that's, this is like as organic as I can make it. So, but if you are thinking about starting content, it's better to get into it now than never. I mean, if you think at some point it's going to be of any use to you in your life, like if you're majoring in business, Drop out and start content. I tell people that all the time. But for real, like, you know, content is such a modern form of like everything now. Like in everything you have videos. So there's no reason why you shouldn't be getting good at video. Um, that's definitely my reason. Um, so, hey, I'm just like, you know what? Be consistent. Get your work done. And you'll be chilling. You'll be trilling. Trilling? You'll be chilling in 2024, okay? Anyway, see you guys later. Subscribe, like, share, all that. I don't know why I did the thumbs up. That was supposed to be a thumbs up.